Welcome to Dr. Levski Gaming. My name is Sean, and today I'm showing a few more fights using the Fire Siblings. Now in this team, I am using a Morrigan on my team, and this is not usually advisable because Morrigan will block the resurrections of both Kayla and Aiden. But in this case, I really wanted the enemy Kira to not get resurrected. Uh, so Morgan blocks her, and then Morgan gets a soul charge, which allows her to resurrect someone on my team. And you can see at about the one minute mark that she actually uses it to revive Tristan. So in most cases with these new siblings, I would advise not using Morgan or not facing a team using Morgan. But in this case, I felt the uh, risk was worth it. And you can see here that Tristan hits low health when that stun happens and then suddenly he freezes and then gets healed and that's Morgan's resurrection happening. This team has a really weak tank in Rufus. Um, I guess this was a Grand Arena battle and they just were throwing a leftover tank in front. But I felt that this fight was interesting to include because Kayla jumps into the back there and keeps hitting Leon. And you can see that she keeps getting stunned from hitting Leon, but I believe that because Kayla is damaging herself, she keeps getting out of the stun immediately. So this is kind of an interesting uh, counter to Leon, is that uh, Kayla seems to be unaffected by her stuns. In this fight, I wanted to test the new uh, siblings against the ODH team just to see how they would fare because I figured with Helios and Orion healing massively from Dorian that it would be hard for Kayla to take them down, but it seemed like there was no issues. to face a pretty uh, standard Kark team and just see how the team would fare. It seems the combination of Julius's shield and then Fafnir's stuns and then Kayla blinding was able to allow the team to survive long enough to kill the Kark team. Thanks for watching.